Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here. We got a list of uh, 10 properties on the Toronto system. We got one more in the Oakville Milton system. I hope you had a great weekend. I had a chance to uh, get some stuff done around the house, which has been long overdue. And this is a good time of year to, uh, to get that stuff done. I know there's lots of events and things going on and Christmas shopping, but if you can manage to hack away some of the projects that have been irking you, I find that the energy level goes up so you can do all the other stuff. So let's get to the first one. 235 Bronte, number 75, 254, 999. I like how they did the little holiday theme, although it's kind of a useless picture in terms of what you actually want to know. Uh, there's one full bathroom on this one, so there's a four-piece bathroom and a two-piece. Four-piece is defined as sink and toilet. There's your two. Shower is normally the third. Tub is the fourth. If it's in one enclosure, it's still considered a four-piece because it's the number of, of fixtures coming out of the wall. Bit more of an original kitchen. You've got some wallpaper in here. They've upgraded the floors. This is labor intensive, but it's not tremendously hard to deal with. Now, I don't know the condition of this home, but if it's in half decent shape and it just needs some cosmetic work, you could go in, put a new kitchen in, put some new floors, paint it. If your budget's less than 20 grand, we've easily seen average to somewhat nice looking places go for 275, 280, no problem. And we've even seen some really nice units go up to 300 and a little bit more. So you got anywhere from 20 to $50,000 to play with in terms of work that you could do in this home. I think it's a great deal. It's probably gonna sell really quick. There's virtually nothing for sale with any kind of backyard for that price right now. So Dymont is 394.5. And it's a really small plan. Let me show it to you for a sec here. So this is it here. It's a plan one, Madame 1150 square feet. If you look at the actual floor plan, you've got a front door, you get a small foyer with a closet, and then you've got a great room plus a kitchen. And it's like condo size. It's not very big. If you notice, there's one thing that's missing on your main floor, a powder room. There's no space for it. You'd think that they could probably build out here, but then you move up another model and you're at 13 something square feet. Master's a nice size, but here's another thing missing from the master. There's no ensuite, so you've only got one full bathroom here. So even if you're downstairs in the kitchen, you got to use the washroom, you run up the stairs. So I would say that there's certainly some limitations with this floor plan. I think that it's something where even if it's a first time buyer moving in, I mean, really, it's, it's not going to be very functional for them. This is a home that they get in and then they jump after a couple years. You could probably do two car parking side by side because they've, they've extended the walkway here. But anyways, I don't mean, let me go, go through the pictures here. The yard's pretty big because you're putting it on the same size property as we see 18, 1900 square foot homes on hardwood floors here. So they've done a good job with it. I just think that it's really, again, it's under 400,000. It's detached, it's got a nice kitchen, nice floors. Um, I just think that this is a stepping stone home. And when you think about how much it costs to actually move, when you factor in real estate fees, lawyer fees, land transfer tax, all the rest of it, you know, you're easily 30 grand in. And does it just make more sense to buy maybe a 450 home and then just save yourself some of that trouble? Uh, Houston is 399, semi-detached with a finished basement. It's basically got one large room here. And, uh, and then you've got your kitchen with the eat-in. It's got nice finishes. The basement looks like it's been well done and uh, you've got a decent sized yard. Um, I, this one gets full approval for me. We, I would expect a townhouse to be listing around that price. Even this one here on Bundy's not bad. So it's 1580 square feet. It's got a big wraparound porch. You wanna watch the age of the roofs here because you're probably looking at 12 year old homes. Uh, you've got a bit of wane, or actually that's a beadboard right there. Uh, long living dining plus you've got kitchen family over here they've uh, done a bit of crown molding um, yeah this one's not bad at all I would say that the price looks good if it's in half decent shape I would say that this one's definitely going for a great price the last I've seen that one without a finished basement sell for around that price probably in the last three or four months so near and circle 449 nice high-res photography we've got here but same thing living dining front Kitchen, kitchen family in the back, and uh, I don't know. For me, townhouse at 450, nothing is really jumping out as being special about it. Uh, it. What's funny about this is the description. I read this and I thought, Metropolis Milton. Well, you don't think of Milton as a metropolis, but I actually did a bit of research here, 
And according to Wikipedia, when you when you go to Metropolis, StatsCan defines a census metropolitan area uh, of having a population of at least a hundred thousand people. And actually, Milton is just over a hundred thousand people. So. It's uh, it's amazing to think that Milton has slowly transitioned from a, a very small town to what we'd consider, uh, from StatsCan's point of view, as a as a, cent- a census uh, metropolitan area. So, anyways, that's. Uh, but here's the thing: even your fuzziest buyers are gonna love this home. So I've got a fuzzy buyer. I'll give you a picture of it, and. Uh, <laughs> The, the description's funny. I mean, we find those sometimes. They're just, uh, they're, they're a hoot. So we've got Duncan Lane is 459. It's a Robindale, so it's just over, it's about 16, what is this, 1646 square feet. It's the corner version. And you've got your upgraded countertops here. But basically, the Robindale is just the kitchen. And then there's a family room off to the side. There's lots of natural light in here, lots of windows. Uh, they've done the hardwood upstairs. I don't know why they'd show the unfinished basement, but typically the Robindales are selling, I would say probably anywhere from like 420, 430, 440. At 460, if someone's going to pay it, it's only because it's the corner with maybe a bigger porch. I don't think that's worth 20 grand or more. Uh, Mockridge is 479. We've got two of the same model here. This one's a plan three, it's 1600 square feet, uh, upgraded floors. And it's actually similar in upgrades, but I find it doesn't look as nice. There should be homes behind there. I haven't broke out the zoning maps, but from what I understand, there should just be building of other homes. Uh, and then we've got this one here on Liederman, which uh, ex- exact same model, slightly different elevation on the outside. So you come in the front door, you've got a separate dining room, then you've got your kitchen plus your family room just in the back there. I like this kitchen a bit better. Uh, upgraded countertop, same as the other one. So hard to tell from the pictures. I might give the edge to the other one for ten thousand dollars less. They're putting a possession of January third, twenty fourteen. So that's almost uh, depending on how hard you party on on New Year's Eve, that you might still not be feeling good for move-in day. But obviously, if they put a date like that, there uh, it, there's an important day that um, that if somebody's if a buyer is willing to accommodate it, it should help them out. This one on Saveline is 489.9. And so it's not bad inside. It's a little bit bigger than the previous one. This room never looks good and big. It's a very tiny room. It's sort of, if you look at the front shot, it's just beside the front door. Uh, it's okay. I don't find they've really showcased the space. That's the room right there. It's a tiny little space, but it could work really well for a home office. Uh, I think this one's between 17 and 1800 square feet. Um, Zeus is 1835 square feet. It's a Spirit Plan 4. Uh, 525 is the price on this one. It looks like it has two car parking in the driveway. And hardwood floors, nice big open concept layout. It also has a front family room, uh, actually we'll call it living room office area. Hardwood stairs. I don't know if I love the mismatched here. I think if you're gonna do dark, you kind of have to do it here and then do the lighter cabinets. Uh, and the way the counter kind of works with this, I don't know if I'm really feeling it. Uh, and you got to put a dishwasher in. Really, if you're going for top dollar, you got a black fridge, you got a um, stainless steel stove, you've got the upgraded hood, and then you have no dishwasher. Nothing matches. And if you're going to invest the money to uh, to do a, a nice kitchen, you got to finish it off. The hardwood floors and so on. I think the price is a little bit off. I don't. I doubt they're going to get that. We've seen better homes and larger homes sell for that same price. And the last one is this one on Dairy Road. So we've got a double car garage, plus you've got a workshop, and it's in a great spot. It's just west of Bell School Line, nice and close to town. Even future potential for being close to the university uh, at Dairy and Tremaine. I think there's there's a lot of opportunity here. This is on town water, so you're not dealing with any well stuff. It's You actually have you know, your, your municipal source there. You still have a, um, a septic bed, but the house looks like it's got some nice renos too. The fact that it's a big open concept kitchen, you've got upgraded countertops, you've got your uh, your built-in oven with your, uh, your range hood, you've got like a hand scraped floor here. Some parts of this home are original, but I look at that, that's, a, that's an expensive fridge. That looks like a sub-zero fridge. Uh, some of the basement stuff a little bit not as not as sort of up to par as the kitchen 
But when you look at this price here, I think, you know, you're getting 1.64 acres. You're getting a nice big property, great views of the escarpment, even views of Mount Nemo from this one. And, uh, you know, and it's always, it's in escarpment protected land. So you're not going to have any d development. Probably, you know, it's like close, but not too close to the, the city. You can go to the grocery store and probably five or six minutes. So I love that balance. I love being so close to town, but still having something that's pretty serene. And uh, and the workshop is obviously a bonus for someone else. So I think that this one's priced right on the nose. And I think it has a lot to offer. And they've started on the hard part, which is the kitchen. You might have to do bathrooms and maybe just a little bit of work into it, but you can do it slow. It looks more move and ready than a lot of the stuff you're gonna see in the country and definitely closer to town. So. Have a great day, and uh, if you have any questions about anything we've shown you in this list, definitely give us a call or send us an email, and we'll see you tomorrow with more Milton Daily Homes.